Hi everyone, welcome. I'm uh, I'm Dominic, and I'm the head instructor of uh, Dojo No Driver. Uh, I teach Helen Kundo, Korean archery, and Jakudo. And welcome to this new uh, vlog or explanation in this case. And today we are going to talk about what is Helen Kundo uh, and some extra additional information about the difference, in my opinion, between martial arts and a sports. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video and more of these vlogs will come. It's been a while, but more will come. So before I go into our style, which is Heidem uh, Kumdo Jingyung Sangkum Ryu, one of the available styles of Heidem Kumdo, I first want to talk about uh, what in my opinion is the difference between a martial arts and a martial sports or just a sports. So for instance, I also teach uh, Nijakudo, I also have a video about uh, Nijakudo, me commenting on a Shia diversity uh, video. But in that video, I'm talking about how the nunchaku is being uh, used uh, lethally, but also as a sporting weapon. And for me, the nunchaku is a sporting weapon. There's a whole style about it, which is nunchaku versus nunchaku, uh, made with foam nunchakus and a specific set of rules to fight one another in a contest or a form contest, etc., etc. And this part of being a specific set of rules to apply to, for me, that makes it a martial sports instead of a martial arts. Martial arts, I always compare to a, like a Krav Maga. There are no competitions in Krav Maga. You just learn pure self-defense, which is not suitable for a competition. So this is why I think that is a martial art, because you can use it in a sports form, in a pure form it's just for self-defense and how to defend yourself so a specific set of rules to fight one and another versus i'm able to defend myself in a very martial arts way those are two differences which i think um, uh, could define a style of martial arts because most of the fighting sports weapon sports etc are just in the section martial arts but in my opinion there are two different sections in that so now what we know what a martial sports are or a martial arts are, at least in my opinion, um, now we're going to talk about the style that I give. And that is Heidu Kundo Jing Yung San Kum Ryu. So the question above in the title of the video is what is Heidu Kundo? And if you Google it, and I did that before this video, you will see that Heidum Kundo is often compared to Kendo. So Heidum Kundo is a Korean martial arts and Kendo is of course a Japanese martial arts. Why is it compared to Kendo? I think because that's one of the most known uh, sword martial arts that is out there. So Kendo is when you're fighting one opponent in your, uh, let's say, it, big blue suit with the head uh, protective gear, with the chest protective gear, etc, etc. A lot of key ups uh, in their battle cries and a fighting single opponent who is also a practitioner of kendo most of the time. So before um, I started uh, making this video, I did some research on uh, kendo as well. And what I found out that in uh, one of the periods of Japan, there was a lot of peace and firearms were starting to get into play. And samurai needed to still be able to use the sword, not for demonstration purposes only, but they need to be practicing with the sword. Since it was a peaceful time, um, that means that they uh, needed to practice versus one another, since there's not actual combat anymore. So then that's when uh, Kendo got developed, a way to keep practicing with the sword safely versus someone else with a sword. And then the Civil War period came and Apparently, the police uh, force who also were trained in Kendo um, were also uh, quite good at it. And so they um, performed very well during the Civil War uh, period. And that's how Kendo stuck because it worked really well at a certain period. But in the essence, Kendo was made to be a sport. Uh, so just to save practice uh, one martial artist versus another martial artist with the sword. So um, before Kendo, you had Kenjutsu, and Jutsu, as I, um, as I know it, is translated to skill, and Do is translated to the way. So Judo, Karate Do, 
Kendo is the way of, and Jutsu means more skill or defense or etc. etc. So Kendo was the more combative way of it, which was uh, practiced before that. So that's of how to take over an enemy, counter, etc. etc. So not really the play thing uh, that Kendo is, not that it's, it's a play thing, but you get what I mean. Um, but that way they were practicing more offensive and defensive, not really suitable for a one-on-one -on -one contest. So Kendo versus Kenjutsu uh, translates, in my opinion, to the martial arts versus the martial sports. So this is the rough um, sketch that I'm giving about the sports. If I'm wrong, uh, this is what I found out on the internet. Now we're going to uh, Heinon Kundo. So why starting this video about what is Heidon Kundo um, with a story about Kendo? Well, that's because if you look up what is Heidon Kundo on the internet and on YouTube, etc., etc., uh, there's a lot of hate versus Heidon Kundo because it's less uh, less good or below uh, Kendo. A lot of people think. Well, the mentality of the sports or the martial arts is uh, completely different. So that's why we started with that because. Um, what you see of Heinum Kundo online is just a small section uh, and there's a lot of things about Kendo of course, there's a lot of practitioners of Kendo, so I guess that's uh, why if you, if you Google it, a lot of comparison is between the two. Um, but if you go to look into the essence, Heinum Kundo is not a sword sport, it's a sword martial arts. So um, I'm practicing the style of Heinum Kundo Jingyun Sankum Ryu. Um, you have other Heidon Kundo styles as well. You have Heidon Kundo, which is spelled a little bit differently. You have Bunkuk and just Kundo. And there's probably a lot of different styles in Korea um, about this sword martial arts. But the two biggest ones, as far as I know, are the style I'm doing and the style of the Heidon Kundo. And one is spelled with the I and G, the other one is spelled with an A and a K. So those are two different styles, just as in karate, where you have different styles. So one of the things that you read online is that Heinum Kundo is just a fleshy martial arts without any purpose, as, uh, apart from being a very good martial arts for demonstration. And because there are a lot of spinning and jumping, etc., etc. Uh, well, let me tell you what is the purpose behind those spinning and jumpy things. Um, so, um, during the talk that I'm doing, you probably see some videos uh, or some photos that I posted just for reference. Um, but uh, now I'll give you some of the references of the more fleshy uh, moves which are out there. But the idea of the moves is this. So, uh, a kendo, for instance, is based on one versus one combat. While Heinum Kundo is based on um, combat on a battlefield. So, there are multiple opponents on the battlefield. It's not just you and someone else, it's not a duel, it's chaos out there and there are multiple people attacking one and another. So Heiden Kundo is very much based on moving around between different targets instead of fixing on one target. How do you do that? By moving a lot around and not being stationary and being overwhelmed. So the style that I represent uh, in my green doll book that is, is Heinon Kundo Jingyun Sankum Ryu, and that's a martial arts based uh, on a dual sword system. So we practice single sword, of course, but most of our style is defined by being able to use two swords, uh, mainly one sword for blocking, the other one for attacking. So what you're going to get is that a lot of moves are broad moves. So one block, and one counter. Assuming you have one, you block another one, and you block and counter. Assuming you won, you go to a different opponent. It's a lot of jumping around with one blocking and one countering motion. Because this is what you see online, of course, and that is the forms. The forms are the most easy to record and demonstrate on camera. And just like in karate, where it's called kata, we have sangsu kumbup, single sword forms, and sangkum kumbup double sword forms. So um, if you know the single sword form, um, you have a rough idea of the footwork and the sword motions for the double sword forms. They're uh, roughly the same as much as they can be the same with being one sword and two swords. Um, but if you know the basics of the single sword form, you have definitely have a good base for the double sword form, just to explain what those uh, things are. 
so these double sword forms or single sword forms all represent that you're fighting off multiple opponents on the battlefield. Let's just call it always the battlefield. And just like in other martial arts, these forms are just made um, so that your muscle memory will remember to block, to counter, and to do certain footwork. Um, so they are not always representable for the perfect scenario. So the first form is a very easy one where you just start with three cuts straight down. That does not show that you're cutting through everyone seamlessly in the battlefield, but that's just the first form. And like form number 12 has some very big spins in there, but those are also just to train. Uh, you're able to skill and jump with the sword and everything combined. So not everything is the exact representation of something that will happen on the battlefield, but it will enlarge in your skills. So the further you go into the progress uh, or in, in the teachings of uh, our style you start to understand and you're starting to see um, in a form where you're fighting against someone else so with this knowledge i want you to maybe find something of Helen kunda online and see if you can figure out some uh, elements that are like, hey, this is fighting one opponent and that's fighting one opponent. You can find videos also online of a demonstration where someone is like walking Sang Su of number seven, which is very suitable to demonstrate with multiple opponents. Um, but you see people performing that as part of a demonstration and also fighting off multiple opponents within the ideal situation of the form, uh, of course. But there is more to it, of course. So I immediately started with uh, double sword uh, things. So that's what, because it represents my style, of course. But I want to uh, tell you um, what it is that you learn when you enter my school and want to learn Heinum Kumdo. I think that's why you are watching this video. So in the beginning, what you are learning, of course, is the basics. We have a special set of moves for that called the Basic 12. And it covers almost all of the standard cutting strikes or sword strikes. Uh, together with a set of uh, different stances. Um, after that, um, you are starting to learn how to draw and how to sheath your sword in the simplest way, but also in the more cool looking, uh, fancy ways, just so your overall sword skill will get better, like spinning between your hands and your fingers, etc. But that really helps uh, to have control over the sword and have a better understanding of the weight distribution of the sword and growing, comforting, uh, with yourself with the sword, of course. And after that, you'll start to learn more forms, more advanced techniques, etc., etc. So once you've learned these basic uh, techniques and more, more uh, forms, etc., etc., you're also going to start with sparring. Uh, this is called cucums, and those are sparring patterns. The thing about their sparring patterns is that they're not made for one-on-one -on -one combat, and they are designed of one-on-one to combat because you block one opponent you attack the other opponent and then you go back to the first one that you attacked so um, if your saboom or instructor explains this then you can see hey i'm fighting multiple opponents and that way to redirect your techniques etc etc and the further you come into hayden kumdo the more you see that hey this is not based on just i'm fighting one opponent, this is based on I'm fighting multiple opponents. And this is where um, I think Hedem Kumdo is more of a martial arts than of a martial sports. Um, because um, we do train a lot of the forms and stuff. Sometimes we do train uh, fighting multiple opponents, of course. But um, in the essence, it's not like that we train battlefield situations in class. It's not like we put one of the person of one of these students in front versus the other 10 and see if he or she will survive the contest or the fight. So this is also not really suitable for a contest, of course, because what are you going to do? Uh, okay, he defeated two opponents. He uh, is the last place of today. And hey, she defeated 10 opponents. She's the winner of today. So it's not really practical, of course, because there's a lot of different skills uh, in that. So um, if you're going to look up a fight of a Hedum Kumdo versus Hedum Kumdo practitioner, you'll see that they try their spinning moves uh, and everything, while well, those are really not that suited for single combat. Single combat, uh, one versus one, then Kendo, of course, is a really good uh, contester because this sole purpose is fighting off, fencing off a single opponent, just like uh, fencing is, of course. 
So if you look at it from this perspective, you might have a little bit of a better understanding of the, um, the idea behind the motions. Um, I invite you to practice uh, or try some of the forms yourself, of course. I have some tutorial videos also on my channel. But I hope now you have a rough idea of Hedon Kumdo. So to start concluding this uh, video, um, let's just summarize what I just have said. So what is Hedon Kumdo? Hedon Kumdo is a martial art based on fighting of multiple opponents on the battlefield. What you learn in class when you start is just basics, basic strikes and basic stances, how to draw, how to sheath your sword, the very practical ones, but also the more flashy ones to gain confidence about you and your sword. You'll start learning forms, basic forms going into advanced forms, um, which in the back of your mind, the idea should be to fence off multiple people on the battlefield. Um, do we also spar? Yes, we have sparring patterns between one uh, or multiple uh, opponents. And we also, of course, spar to being able to actually uh, defend yourself versus another sword. Is that the main purpose of our style? No. Will we lose who uh, against someone who is practicing only kendo? Probably. Um, but that's not the case of this video. This video is about uh, what is Heinum Kumdo. So I think I... I hope I, made, uh, I gave you a better understanding of um, what Heinum Kumdo is. If you are interested, uh, you can of course join one of my trainings in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam or in Hilversum. Um, apart from all the things I just said, one of the other things that we train is meditation. Because what you want is to have uh, rest in yourself, your inner spirit, your key. Um, and you want to have your energy to being translated into the sword uh, because the sword is just an extension of yourself and um, to test your sword skills what we also do is uh, cutting paper and cutting actual bamboo uh, so that you're practicing if your sword alignment is good and if your energy and etc is also presented well into the sword and um, candle extinguish if you have the focus and uh, dedication that you can stop your sword just in front of the flame that the wind will make the flame uh, go off um, and everything combined you have a very complete um, martial arts which is not only uh, the idea of fighting one and another it's for your health it's for your stamina and it's for your confidence and it's about just enjoying a martial arts in your way you like to spar a bit you can do that do you like to uh, practice focus on forms there's a lot of forms so you can focus on that as well and i think with that we come to the conclusion of this video that hidden kumdo is a very nice uh, and approachable martial arts and um, it's not better or less than a kendo a kenjutsu an iaido or one of all the other uh, martial arts uh, out there uh, it's just a different application to the sword and there are many applications of course to the sword so none is superior above the other there are just very different things and you should look uh, to them um, with a different mindset behind them so i want to thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments i will make some more of these videos so if you want to have more information about heinum kumdo or Korean archery and Jakudo, you can subscribe, uh, of course. I will try to answer as many questions as I can in the comments. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.